In this video, we're going to learn how to join tables using the query window in SAS Studio. So, I will use these two data sets, these two tables that I have created inside uh, my folders on inside SAS University Edition folder. So, let me show you how they look like. So this first table has a column called ID. This is the ID of, let's say, a group of students. These are their IDs. This is the gender of the student, and this is the grade in the first exam. Okay. Now, I have a second data set, a second table, called exams two and three, which refers to the same group of students and we have the IDs here right but now we have the grades on exam 2 and exam 3 so this we could have this type of situation where we have uh, data or uh, measurements on the same people or the same units but different uh, measurements let's say for example you have the height and weight of a group of people in one uh, table and then you have another table with uh, the age, cholesterol levels, income, I don't know, some other information about the same group of people and they are identified through an ID. So you may want to merge or join these two tables together to create a single table using the ID as the um, as the element to join them, right? So this one here, ID1, refers to a person, and that same person is here. It's a male that got 79 on the first exam. So I may want to have a, a, a single table that has the three exams, the three exam grades, and the gender and the ID, right? So I don't want to have two separate tables. I want to join these two tables together using the ID as our pivot, if you want. Okay. So how do we how do we do this? Well, first of all, I need to uh, upload these two data sets into SAS. That's the first step. I need to have the data inside SAS so I can do the join. So how do we do that? Well, again, tasks and utilities. So utilities, import data, select file. So we want exam one to go in there. And we have to change the name. It's not going to be called import. I'm going to call it exam one or, yeah, exam one. Why not? Save it and run it. And there you go. Now, is this data set, this exam one data set, should be in the work library, which is our temporary data sets library. There you go, exam one. There you go. Now I need to also upload the second table and task and utilities, import data, select file, exam to three, change the name of that. I'm gonna call it okay, exam two underscore three again. Why not? Save it in the work library, which is the temporary library, run and it should appear there in the work library there you go we have it there so ids exam one exam three and so on now we want to merge these two um tables exam two and the ex um i mean exam two three and exam one tables these two tables here we want to merge them by id right using id as the pivot now it so happens that in this two in these two tables here, the IDs are in order. They don't have to be in order. They could be scrambled around, but still the program, uh, the software, will match 
observations by ID. Okay? So now, how do we do the join? Uh, the joining of the two tables, the merging of the two tables. Okay, so we'll go to tasks and utilities, query. Okay, we click there. Now, we need to add the tables here. So how do we do that? Let's go to libraries where the tables are, in this case in the work library. Just move it over and move this one over here. And what's going to happen now? Well, we have to join tables. So we click here and we say join. Left table could be, let's say, this one, right? and this one could be the right table. The join type is the inner join. There are four types of join. We will only look into the inner join right now. The inner join will just uh, match uh, the two tables by IDs. If there is an ID that appears in one table and it does not appear in the other one, it will not include that. So it will include only the ones that are in both tables. So click that. And we have that uh, that done right now. So conditions ID equals ID, basically. So so now we need to select the columns for the final table that we want. Okay, so let's say for example, from the first table we want to have, let's say the ID, the gender, exam one. Okay, so this one, this one, and this one. You just move them over. Okay, and then from the second table we're gonna have exam 2 and exam 3 because the ID is already there, right? So these are the columns that are going to appear on our um, uh, final table, the one, uh, the join table, okay? Now then we need to click on properties and select whether we want a table or a report. A table would be, you know, a data set that will be saved inside SAS under, in the work um, in the work uh, library or if we want a report this is just going to be a, a list that you can then download and print. Let's say I want a table so I want to create a data set. I'm going to call it joint uh, exams and you run that and it created a data set that is down here. Let me uh, see. So this is the output data. And it's called joint exams and it's in the work library. So if we click on there, you see it has the IDs, the gender, exam one, two, and three. It matched the um, different values. Right, they match the uh, exam two, exam one, exam three by ID. So now it's showing it's a combined table right now. That's, that's what we have now. We have the combined table. Now, if you want to create a, a report, well, again, you can go to task and utilities, task, list data. And then let's say, okay, I want to output this and run it. That's your table, that's the joint table. And then you can download it as a PDF to have a report 
to submit or if you want to print it you can print it from here okay so that's how you join two tables by ID it's called it's called an inner join 